when I started the band in 1990, um, I recorded a demo, uh, demo cassette uh, or an album which was 45 minutes long in just one day because there was hardly any funds, which is quite a record to record a full band 45 minutes of. And then we gave it to various uh, music companies and it took them quite a while to decide. First one to decide was HMD then. Um, well, it took a, took a long time actually. Uh, they, they signed us up in 91 and uh, they could record us only end 92 so it was more than a year and a half year and a half wait and uh, they took another full year to release it fine um, when the product was ready a whole lot of people said that this is a brilliant product it, it needs uh, and we would like to support it with a lot of uh, advertisements and there should be a budget for it but there was another group in the same company who said that no, there will be no ads because this is completely new. We do not, do not know whether this is going to bomb or not. So they did not actually give even a single ad anywhere. So nobody knew about it. We ourselves went to different newspaper organizations and magazines and gave one one CD or not CD. There were cassettes at that point of time. And uh, when they liked it and reviewed it well, that album really did well. And, you know, the, all the weight and the fact that there was no advertising, we realized from the first album itself that creativity is something which will come to the creator. You cannot make an outsider actually uh, understand what something new is. But when uh, the album was a success, we thought a whole lot of um, music companies will pour in and they will talk to us for the next album. Nothing happened. So after a while, we ourselves went back, asking why didn't you come out, would you like to have another album? They told us on our face, categorically, that your first album was a fluke for being a success. And um, uh, your next album will definitely be a flop. <laughs> well, we, were, we did not know what to do. But uh, 1st January 97, we performed for Sa Samad. And uh, fortunately, that recording turned out to be very good. And we realized that we can actually come out with an album, a new, a new album. So we went back to the music companies. That you do not have, a, have to spend any money, just release it. See, our last album was a success. They said live albums don't sell in India. So they didn't even take that. One dealer who was a friend of mine um, uh, in Delhi, he said that, look, I have sold so much of your first album. I don't even want to hear your album. I want to form a music company and release it. So I, um, a company called Independent Music was formed and we released the album. That album, actually the company did not have much funds, not much of reach. So we could distribute it only within Delhi and a bit around Delhi. When that album sold 50,000 lakh of copies, then, you know, the music companies turned and they were agreeable to talk to us for the first time. So uh, uh, they, there came another new product with new sound where the music companies did not want to. So only after two commercial successes that music companies were willing to talk to us. Because then, then you realize that they basically are commercial venture and they, want, they understand money. If money comes in, you know, creativity has nothing to do with these music companies. So uh, the third album turned out to be uh, Kandisa. We signed up with Times Music. And for the first time, our um, uh, album got some publicity. Because they did give a lot of ads, half page ads in Times of India, which is big. And uh, then Jini uh, came out. Jini came out because the uh, producer who was with Times Music, he shifted to another uh, company called Cosmic Music and he said that why don't you come with me and uh, we will record and we will release it through that company. So Genie happened. Black Friday happened because the music, uh, the um, uh, filmmakers approached, approached us. Now throughout this period, uh, slowly when we released our first album, there was no MTV, no V channel, nothing. 
So uh, by and by all these channels came in, people started uh, making their own videos. So people used to ask us, why don't you make your own video? A, one video was made on Genie, which, which really did not turn out good. We are not uh, proud of it at all. Because everybody thought that no matter what song will be made into a video, there has to be women around. I do not know why. And our music definitely does not require that. And uh, my take on it was that if there has to be an Indian Ocean video, it has to be a live show concert. You know, it, it, uh, because we are primarily a live band. So when we thought of uh, the live DVD, we didn't even want to approach any company because we knew that nobody will be willing to shell out that kind of money. And why go through that kind of humiliation again? We are old enough, we, are, uh, we have uh, well, certain amount of pride of being one of the, um, what, sh what should I say, creators of new sound or a new era in India. So we thought that we should do it ourselves. And in the last two years, we have actually spent more than 70% of our earnings, of the band's earnings, only on this video, on, on this live DVD, because it costs a lot to organize a full-fledged show, invite people into it, and then you have uh, uh, an eight camera, professional camera people coming in, shooting it. It's a huge risk. It's not only a huge risk. Uh, 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 I'm not talking about it from the marketing point of view, but possibly that day we could have been a bad, in a bad mood and uh, the show could have been a bad one. Then all the money would have gone down the drain. But we did practice a lot and it, uh, the show turned out to be good. So it has got 11 songs and we have released it uh, on our own. And on our own, only because we know that people wouldn't have... Just because there has not been an, a live album by any Indian act in the country till now, which is selling in the market, I'm 100% sure that no company would have actually supported us. So best is to go, go on our own. Do it. It's, it's uh, revenues. Uh, we will see the revenues only after at least six months or, ten, or a year. It's just been released. It has just hit the Delhi stores. It'll hit the Bombay stores by uh, in another four days' time. And the rest of the country will get it by the 10th of August or something of that sort. So if it ha has not reached the... So I can't talk about it. And frankly speaking, I'm not really bothered about it also. Passionately, I, uh, or we felt that um, uh, if we want to portray anything visual to our audience uh, or our listeners, it should be a live show. And that's what has happened. I'm very happy about that, whether it sells or not. Also, there are other things, you see. Um, uh, when Kandisa uh, was released, it did become a success. Since, uh, uh, and all our, all our albums are selling still, and they'll keep selling for tens of years. And I'm very sure, sure of that. Now, uh, say Kandisa is with clients. We are traveling all over the world performing. We see uh, no presence of our CDs anywhere else in the world but India. And we regret the fact that we have given the rights to uh, Times because Times does not have the reach outside uh, India, whereas we do now. So we are planning to sell the live DVD, the uh, Desert Train and Genie, all the three rights we have to uh, different uh, uh, music companies or labels uh, in different parts of the world rather than give it to one and then see no presence anywhere else but the country. And, uh, in a way also to make sure that it reaches out to the bigger, uh, bigger audiences because we know that people will buy outside India too. Otherwise they would not be calling us back time and again for these performances. I, I have never felt a part of the music industry. Okay. Um, I think that any art form, any kind of art form, if you uh, make it into an industry, you have killed the art form. Then it's as good as selling soap, shampoo, and so on and so forth. Because that's how people go about it. Because when these music companies, they go out looking for new uh, music, they actually go and say, why don't you do a track like Michael Jackson? Why don't you do a track like that? You know, a creator is not thinking like that. 
So if I have to be a part of the industry and go by the industry norms, then I would not be creating. I'll be copying somebody else and churning out actually soaps. You know, the market is also something notional in everybody's mind. Right? The, um, uh, well, for, for the first two albums, the um, uh, music companies thought that we would not be a success. Right? So, uh, what did they think was the market? There was a market for us, they did not recognize it. So, it's not this that uh, the market was not there and the market is not there for new stuff or creative uh, products. It's how you actually market it. I mean, if you go back and see, um, uh, uh, you, you might have demarcations between different kinds of films, commercial films and the art films. I think a, a, f a good film is a good film. You need not say this is an art film or uh, this thing. I mean, Shrotujit Rai's Pathir uh, Pachali did very well in the box, of box office. Obviously, after it got all the awards and so on and so forth. Kubi Khan Bhagavan did fantastically well. I'm sure Charul, Charulata did. So, uh, where do you draw a line between uh, a good film and a bad film? Or, or commercial and non-commercial? Ultimately, the, it is not just the music companies. It is also, uh, I think, to do with the so-called creators, say musicians, filmmakers, and so on and so forth. Either you fall prey to the demands of the music companies or the people who are actually giving, uh, you know, putting the money into the product, or you stick to your guns, right? So, if the music industry has, uh, you know, 2,000 different people making uh, different kinds of music, out of which probably 99% of them have fallen prey to what the demands of the music companies are according to the kind of notion that they have of the market, right? Then I think a lot of the onus actually is on the creators themselves, whether, whether they want to belong to the industry or just use the uh, distribution network because they have the distribution network. And my way of looking at it is that, you know, before, before EMI actually came very sweetly and suggested that they would like to distribute the product for us. We are manufacturing the DVDs and doing it to them. Uh, we were actually looking at um, uh, uh, selling it ourselves finding out different uh, networks, say Music World, Planet M, Cafe Coffee Days, why not the book channels, why not the booksellers, I mean they could also keep DVDs or CDs. Quite a few of these um, uh, uh, bookshops do have a shelf which they think are meaningful uh, music for them, right? So why not approach different ways, if we have innovated uh, a different kind of music then we should be able to also innovate the way we actually reach out to people. We need not always take the music company route. You see, uh, internet is something which, which does not have any uh, uh, boundaries of countries. You know, you can have a rule in a particular country, but, but you cannot level the same rule elsewhere. So the moment it has a global uh, uh, connotation to it, you cannot possibly have rules against these things unless or until there is there are world committees that come and they enforce certain rules. Who's going to enforce the rules? They are not. Um, but still, I I would say that it has not taken completely away from the music companies or from the artists uh, the internet sales. There are certain positive aspects also. Uh, a you know, most people who are ardent lovers of music or films or whatever, they finally want to have a physical copy in their hand. And they are the people who will always go and buy. So that market, the, the internet sales or downloads is not affecting. What good the internet is doing is that, say when we uh, started the band and we wanted to reach out to people, right? We have always been a good live band. So when we